What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages? This is episode number 48 of the Thursday Night Indie Spotlight. I'm Ben. You might know me better as Piccolo930 on PSN, on Twitter. I'm here on behalf of Short Paws. www.shortpaws.com is the website. The totally rad website that we run. No bias there at all. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter, at the Short Paws as well, if, if you're not. Um... If you've never watched the Indie Spotlight before, basically we grab a, uh, a smaller title that came out during the week, fire it up for a little while, give it a go, and, and see what it's all about. See if maybe it's an under-the-radar gem that we should be keeping our eyes on. So tonight's title is The Flame and the Flood. Newly hitting PS4 this week. This is a game I've been um, interested in for a little while now. Yeah, it's a, it's a game that um, came out on uh, on the Xbox One, came out on the PC. Looked really interesting at the time. I, I believe some of the people involved with this game are former Irrational developers. I'm not 100% sure on that. I might, I might be mixing up some of my my stuff here, but as far as I remember, so there there's some some talented talented developers at this studio. I've always loved the look of this game. It's got a really cool art direction about it. Um, so that's always kind of drawn me in from afar. But um, it's made by uh, Molasses Flood, uh, at Molasses Flood on Twitter, and published by the, the fine, fine folks at Curve Digital. They're at Curve Digital on Twitter. They publish uh, some of my favorite um, downloadable games, Stealth Inc. in particular, one of, one of my all-time favorites. So uh, Curve does good work, so I have nothing but high hopes ahead for the flame and the flood this evening. Um, what do we know about this game? It's it's some type of a survival game, some type of an action adventure survival game. So I don't know how pronounced the survival elements are. Uh, there's roguelike elements in this game, I know. So I'm sure once I die, I'm gonna have to start all over again. But um, that's about it in terms of what I know. Haven't watched too many videos. Just seen a couple trailers to the game, so don't know the the mechanics or exactly how all this works. So I know we've got a dog as well. You can see it in the title screen here. So. uh... We are going to hop in here and see what the flame and the flood is all about. Um, go with the campaign here. Uh, Traveler recommended for new players. Uh, yeah, we'll be doing Traveler. Um, scout options, what is this? Oh, different dogs. Aesop, that's a great dog name. If I do say so myself. So we're going to stick with Aesop. And away we go. Heard uh just heard some great things about this game. You know, it's uh generally uh has reviewed pretty well from what I've seen. I've heard some good things just from hearsay from people. So I'm uh looking forward to what we're about to happen to here tonight. signal. Okay. <clears throat> One second here. See if I can get some of these technical issues straightened out here real quick. Sorry guys, give me one second here.
Alrighty. Not sure if the uh, the chat is working right now in terms of what I can see, so if I don't respond to a question or something, I, I apologize, but let's get down to business here. Um, so as you can see right away, um, what we mentioned in the, in the intro there, very cool art style in this game. At least I'm, I'm a big fan of it. I like this angular kind of stylized look that these characters have. Um, just initial impressions. Uh, let's see, use fire. Um... We don't need that corn. Take some corn. I'm a corn fan. Ash cake schematic. Set that fire to craft an ash cake. Um, not sure how that works yet. Yeah, just right off the bat, game game appears to be running great. We'll see how the frame rate and all that stuff holds up, but so far so good on that end. Okay, so we got our inventory here. All right, old radio is still working. You just need to get closer to the source. Maybe find high ground to hear the message clearly. Got it. sign there. Tinder schematic edit to journal. Huh. Okay, so we can shoot crows. Some feathers we're getting here. Water obviously key to our survival. Right, right off the bat, a lot of information being thrown our way. Quick menu. Right. <clears throat> See if I can wrap my head around all this stuff by the time we get done with the streamer. Uh, let's go in this building. Left with dust. These uh, these survival-focused games can be can be hit and miss. At least with me personally, sometimes they can be too granular. Um, they can be one of those things where you kind of have to be in the mood. You have to really want to invest your time into one of these games. But they can be really fun. You know, Don't Starve, a good example of that. Yeah, a game I thought was was really fun and, and I'd eventually like to play more of. Okay. Uh, get task, sure. Basic tools. Craft a stone knife and stone hammer, you need them to craft all manner of survival supplies. Can't fire times one. Okay, so I guess we can store stuff in there too. Alright, I wonder if we go back to that fire, if we can maybe craft what we're looking for here. Ash cake. We 
a braided cord too. Alright, what else do we gotta make? The stone. Stone hammer. We need flint, sapling, rags, and a, and a stone knife. Okay. All right, Aesop, let's get on with it. Dude, that's that's an awesome dog name. If I get a dog, I'm gonna name him Aesop. It's it's settled. dangers I'm gonna run into here. I guess we're, uh, rafting appears to be a big part of this game as well, so this looks like it'll be our first go around with that. Elliot quote. Alright. Oh. Okay. Uh, no, don't want to hit that. Nice to see I drive a raft like I do a car, which is to say not very good. If anybody tuned into my uh, Mantis Burn Racing stream, you'll be able to attest to that. Oh boy, getting the white water here. Yeah, I don't know if I should be getting off or. Oh. I should be docking at one of these areas or I should just keep cruising down here. Port Heron Preserve. Hmm. Now can I get up here? Right, I'm gonna presume that I need to look for some kind of a docking station. Points on here. Let's follow these. All right, here we go. All right, Aesop, we made it. Swamp Wonderland. Light on supplies. Great. Yeah, it's got some uh, some snazzy slide guitar accent for sure, Bender. Snare schematic added to the journal. Laceration. Right. Forgot to check if there's anything in here too. Nothing to collect. Kit. Cool. 
flint. Nice. Alright, I gotta try and wrap my head around some of these... Some of the stuff on the HUD here. I'm guessing the fork and knife is my... My hunger, obviously. Then we've got my thirst next to that. Not sure what the middle meter here is. If it's just... If it's just simply a picture of me or if that meter ever moves. Um... Looks to be a temperature after that. I guess that monitors how hot or cold I am, and then um, appears to be maybe when I'm tired in that last one there. So, won't go to sleep just yet. Picking stuff here as we move along. I wonder if this dog's trying to tell me something. Oh, he's just pointing at the dandelion. I don't see much else we, that we can do right here. Oh, more dandelions. Good call, Aesop. Barking at. Oh, something else over here. Okay, so I feel like we're kind of setting up our survival run here right now. Doesn't look like there's much else on this island, so let's hop back in our raft. Still trying to figure out what to do with this radio. I think that's our main objective right now. Obviously, it's turning to night now, which is usually not a good thing in these kinds of games. I see lots of eerie eyes. Uh, what is that right there? Ed? I uh, kind of dig this song right here, though. I'm usually not a fan of... Uh, country or bluegrass or any of that kind of stuff but obviously this this sound fits with this game but I like the little kind of modern twist on this Ugh. this raft you're kind of moving with the tide here so it's a little bit difficult to negotiate Berries. I'm not sure what the story is behind this game. I'm not sure how we ended up here. Um, obviously, I'm guessing there's some kind of a flood. <laughs> we're on a raft. The game's named after a flood. So it's almost kind of post-apocalyptic frontier setting so to speak. Oh boy. Comes the rain now. We're just, uh, just getting in more and more trouble here. Rain is coming. Get what? Use a shelter. Kindle off fire to dry off. Damn. I guess... What I'm trying to figure out is if I can only dock when there's... Oh, shoot. Ill equip. No. If I can only dock when there... Oh, man. I'm just tearing up this raft right now. If there's some kind of a waypoint on the screen. 
Um, Alright, maybe I can get, or I can get over this way. Oh wait, there's some right here. Jar. Alright, is this thing going to give me shelter? Source of wild food and clean water. Ooh. Get my jar ready for this one. First of all, we need to Let's see if I can get in that house that's over here. There's a tire swing. Let's see if we can get in here though. Um We'll sleep for four hours, how about that? That give us time to dry off. Let the rain stop. Right? What else can I do in here? Loot. Inventory full. Damn. Yeah, this is where it's going to start to get tricky. Um. Ooh. Some wild rabbits here. Craft a snare to catch rabbits. Can I make a fire? Right there. Maybe not. There's the bottom there, so hunger, thirst, body temp, fatigue. So basically, what what we what we assumed it was earlier. Man, there's gear in here too. So obviously, there's there's a lot going on right now. Um, and that seems to be typical with these um, survival games. You just gotta kind of figure this stuff out as you go. There has been some hints and some um, tutorial type things. Every now and then that pop up, so that's that's nice. Sometimes these games are so obtuse that you just can't figure out what the hell's going on. Uh, fill jar. Okay. Explore around this island a little bit, see what we can come across. I'm not sure what to do with my inventory here. Can I drop any of this stuff? That's what, that's what I meant to figure out. Um, let's see, what would I drop? These. Crawlers gives me a little bit of health. Oh, I can move stuff to the dog too. That's cool. Um, let's move that to ASAP. Did say something about a pouch, didn't it, Bender? I see it on my craft list here. Maybe I just can't do it yet. Or 
Rooster's pouch right here. Rabbit hide. Hmm. There are some rabbits floating around here. If I can figure out how to catch them. Sleep in the back of that car. Mulberries. Something about a snare on here. I know they mentioned something about making a snare to catch these rabbits. Um, oh, here it is right here. I have a stone knife, don't I? I'll create item. Um, catching small animals. Alright. Alright, see if we can catch us a rabbit now. Um, just gotta figure out how to use this snare. Um, maybe here? Maybe I just hang out here and wait for some action. Not sure if these rabbits are going to come out at night or not, or if this dog is going to scare them away. Shut up, Aesop. Come over here. some water soon here. One time use on those wells. I'm gonna have to um take a swig of this water. Thirst meter back up. What I need to do is figure out how to catch this rabbit. Alright, let's do this. Let's go to sleep for a minute. Um, see if maybe we can wake up in the morning when the rabbits are ready. Alright, yeah, we didn't sleep long enough. And it's raining again. Damn it. The rabbits are out now, though. Maybe I gotta scare him into one of these traps. Oh, I got a rabbit. Man, I need to seek some shelter here. Ugh. Oh. Stopped. You can see how the crafting kind of layers here as, as we're uh, dealing with this rabbit. So you can, we can stitch a hide here to uh, make a hat or, or some gloves. What I was looking at though was making a pouch down here. Get to the bottom here. Um, which is going to require one more rabbit hide. And then we can 
But in order to get another rabbit hide, I'm gonna need another snare. Which I don't think I have the materials for. Yeah. So. Alright. Um. Man, I don't want to keep sleeping because I'm wasting daylight here, but. I need to get this, um, wetness off me. Alright, let's get out of this area. Okay. Let's see what I can raft myself over to. Stop here at this TP. Oh, no, damn it. Ooh, often has flint, always has a lit fire. Awesome. Yeah, it's like my hunger is getting to me now. make any food here maybe cooked meat here we go upgrade raft I like that Wonder if I should just go ahead and make these gloves keep myself warm my body temperature is good right now though. I think I'm gonna try and hold on to this and see if I can make that pouch my inventory is getting tight again. this over here hmm. there's more rabbits floating around here if I can Try and cook up a few more of these herbs and see what we can get out of it. Cook yucca. Oop, I don't have enough space in the inventory. Damn. Man, I really need to figure out a way to make this pouch. Um, what do I need for this snare? Braided cord sapling. Let's hit the waves again. I have to upgrade my raft here. Okay, 
Can't go that way. Cars in the river here, so obviously this was a pretty, uh, pretty cataclysmic flood here. Uh, damn it! And I feel like I'm destroying this. Oh, this is not good. Ooh, nope. Maneuver. Oh. All right, what do we got here? Some of these buildings I haven't been to, like this. Oh my gosh, I'm drowning now. Aesop, save me! Yeah, I should have known that my driving would be my undoing cause of death, drowning. Jeez. Survived four days and traveled four miles almost. Sounds pretty weak. Uh, oh. Restore checkpoint. Let's do it. So obviously there's there's two modes in this game. There's the uh, kind of like hardcore survival mode, which uh, doesn't give you checkpoints and that kind of stuff. And then there's the mode that we're doing, which gives us that option. But I can definitely see once you get into this game, learn all the mechanics of it, like the real hardcore fans are going to um, go for the no checkpoint mode. Get the true... Man, that, that is just a tough area to maneuver there. Oh. The real hardcore fans are going to go for the, uh... Oh, jeez. Man. This is... This is... This is hard to navigate here. The real hardcore fans are going to go for the no uh, checkpoint mode for sure. Whew, man. Alright, got out of the white waters stuff. Um... Oh, man, I want to try and get to that far left side though I'm not sure what that building is with the cross I'm not sure what that's able to do for me uh, now let's hop in here Snacker. Don't I have some grubs? Eat ten grubs. Okay. Haven't, uh, oh, sapling. Ah, oh, inventory full. Damn. I'm not utilizing these jars properly. Let's get rid of this, though. Food poisoning. Okay. Oh, can't eat it raw. I gotta cook that stuff. Mitz poison gas when burned. what I can do with that raft frame. Um, we can eat this jerky now. Alright. Sapling. Hello. So we need uh we need some cattails, which are right here. Sweet, inventory's full. Damn it! 
see burns and scratches. These are the basic instructions. Two shots of escape, kindle fire, warm, access your mentors, rather. Okay. All stuff we basically figured out at this point. Alright, now what was I, what was I trying to make? A snare, right? I need more braided cords to make a snare. Which I need more inventory space. Jeez. Alright. Sumac, you're getting dropped. Alright, let's make these braided cords. Alright, so we got all those converted. Once we find, ooh, rabbits, let's go. Alright, let's catch ourselves a rabbit, and then we can make a pouch. Oh, there he is. It's a, a graphic slaying of a rabbit there. Alright, awesome. Get the rabbit pelt. Oh, we can make that stone hammer now, too. Okay, perfect. Alright, first of all, let's make this pouch. Alright, good stuff. Bag capacity plus four. Stone hammer. Got that. Completed one of our tasks. Hey, we are making moves here now. Look at that. Look at that inventory. Right, I'm thirsty now. Um, the question is, is there a well around here? Fire. There's no well. We're going to have to take our chances with this water here. It's polluted, of course. Nope. Don't want to consume that. Uh, water filter, where are you? way to filter contaminants from standing water. <laughs> I'm wondering... Alright, if I drink this polluted water, will that filter automatically kick in? Let's, let's find out. Nope. Cause now I got Listeria. Damn it. Well, how am I supposed to use this? How do I get rid of this now? Um, some of these things, yeah, this thing says it's got medicinal properties. I'm gonna consume the whole lot of them, see if this helps. 
No, still got Listeria. Damn. Um, all right, how about sleeping? Will that help? No. Still get the uh, Listeria. I need penicillin. An invasive bacteria. It'll clear up on its own, but make things rough while it's living inside you. Okay. Alright, we'll, we'll just hope that, that goes away. <laughs> Man. This game's serious. It's like a modern day Oregon Trail. You died of dissent? Dysentery. Let's forage a few more supplies out of here. Not sure what this Listeria is going to do to us. Here's the fire right here. Craft dry tinder. Damn. Craft using cattail. Don't I have that? I guess not. Oh, it's right here. We're figuring things out here. We we know how to light a fire. We know how to craft some stuff. We know how to eat. Still not sure how to Let's see what it takes to make penicillin. Um, just out of curiosity, moldy lump. I haven't, I haven't come across any of those yet. at some point. Uh, here comes the rain again. some more water but I need to figure out how to use this water filter best way to filter contaminants from standing water how the hell do I use this Soaked. I've got listeria. Something else is going on. See, got some shelter here. Uh, 
Basically, I'm a mess right now. Alright. Disease cleared up. We're back in business here, ASAP. Let's see, how do I get back to my raft? Let's be down this way, maybe. we can get to here. I'll try and get to this building over here if I can. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna make it. Stop doing that. Oh boy. Here we go with this again. Trying to maneuver through these, uh, oh, and then I'm drowning. Damn it. Man, that's. Navigating that stuff is hard. So I've, I've died twice in this stream, both as a result of my piss poor raft driving. We've drowned two times. It's a damn shame. I believe the only checkpoint I reached was uh was there. Which is where I was at before, so with that though, I think we get a pretty good idea of what the the flame and the flood is all about. If we're gonna um bring the stream to an end there. Hopefully you guys have enjoy have enjoyed watching uh, the flame and the flood. I uh I like this game. I, I actually think it's really cool. Um and it's got some some unique elements in it that kind of separate it from from the roguelike genre, or from the survival genre, let it stand out on its own, and, and make it less frustrating for a lot of the players who aren't like just knee deep into this this heavy survival management sim stuff. So obviously in the in the normal mode you have checkpoints. That's something that you don't typically get in a roguelike game or in a survival game. So that's going to help alleviate some of the frustrations that some people have. Um, the, there's much more information available in this game. There's helpful tutorials. I really like the UI. It's it's pretty intuitive, easy to use, easy to work with. Um, so it seems like this game was created with consoles in mind. I don't remember when they originally um, released it, if it was just meant for PC or if it was uh, always meant to come to console as well. But uh, the UI... Nice, clean, easy to use. It's 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 pretty easy to kind of get in there and figure out what you're doing. So I really like that, and I yeah, I just I just like that that they give you some idea of what you're supposed to be doing in this game. Like I mentioned before, a lot of these survival games way too obtuse. At least for me personally, you get in there and you're like, what's going on? I don't know what I'm doing, what I'm supposed to be doing. You at least have an idea of what you're doing here. You're just uh, trying to get from point A to point B, forage supplies, survive, craft, do all that kind of stuff. We didn't encounter. Uh, really any enemies I know I've in the in the trailers for this game we've seen like these wolf like characters and and some other enemies that in the things that you'll encounter throughout your journey here but uh if I was a better raft driver maybe we would have ran into some of those but once again I just totally sucked ass on the on the white water parts so that's something uh you'll have to get your head around it's you know not the easiest thing in the world steering that raft it doesn't exactly drive like a Cadillac so uh that's something I'll have to wrap my head around but yeah, uh, the game runs great, looks great. Once again, really cool aesthetic. I I like the gameplay. I like the survival aspects of this game and the way that they're they're introduced to you. I think if you're if you're a console player and you're somebody who's kind of strayed away or, or stayed away from the survival games, I actually think this is one you might get into. If you're a fan of of action adventure games, you know, um, I think this one's worth a shot, worth giving it a shot, just to see if maybe you can get into it. Because it is it is much more uh, inviting than some of the other games in this in this same space. So, bravo to Molasses Flood. Um, I definitely want to play some more of this. I, I I think it's really cool. So once again, those guys are on Twitter at Molasses Flood, um, at Curve Digital, the the publisher of this game, the very fine publisher. So make sure you're following both of those guys on Twitter. 
Uh, I'm Ben at Piccolo930 on Twitter. That's my PSN handle as well. So you guys can, uh, can always catch me there. Our website, www.shortpause.com. Make, you, make sure you're coming over there, checking us out. Follow us on Twitter at The Short Pause. Make sure you're listening to our podcast as well. That's where we kind of dive into some of these games and, and figure out what we're going to play on the spotlight. And, and basically we, we cover the entire spectrum of gaming. So it's, it's, uh, it's a fun show every week. It posts every Monday. Uh, the Short Pause Gaming Podcast on iTunes, SoundCloud, TuneIn Radio, and Google Play. Catch us in one of those spots. And uh, make sure you watch our, our new video podcast on, on YouTube now. Short Pause Gaming on YouTube. So all kinds of fun stuff going on. We just had our 100th episode. 100 episodes strong. We're looking forward to the next 100 episodes. So make sure you get over there. Check us out. We, uh, we have a lot of fun doing the show. So we do the Thursday Night sp- Indie Spotlight every Thursday, 10 p.m. Eastern. So make sure you're back next week. We'll have another game. Um, I mentioned before we, we've got some things in the works to kind of expand the spotlight, maybe bring it over to Tuesday as well. So we'll talk about that on the on the podcast and on the show here as we as we move towards that. But uh, for now, 10 p.m. Eastern, every single week, we'll grab a new indie game that came out, fire it up for a little while, see what it's all about. Not sure what's on the docket for next week. We'll have to check the new release list as that kind of finalizes itself throughout the next few days. And then we'll uh, we'll decide what we're going to fire up there. So thanks for everybody who, who tuned in this evening. Once again, The Flame and the Flood, a lot of fun. Go check it out. It's on sale right now, eleven ninety nine on PSN. It's, uh, it's recommended even for people that don't typically get into this survival stuff. So I'll see you guys next week. See you on the website. Thanks for watching. Oh, and uh, make sure you stay tuned because coming up next... We've got a, a pretty cool stream. We've got Frankie hopping on here with uh, a couple of our, um, uh, you know, I guess our, our our gaming brothers and friends. We've got uh, um, Madzu from, from NLG and uh, and JD from the Play and Listen podcast. going to be joining Frankie for a very special stream of, of, of Vermintide. So if you're interested in checking out that game, stay tuned right here. Short Pause Live on Twitch. We've got some more stuff coming up for you this evening. So once again, thanks for watching. See you guys later.